You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this first clip, you're going to see Alexia Standish. Uh, Standish has actually was been over a couple times now, was here for EBA All-American Camp in September. Came back and worked out with us again last month. You know, gets on a plane from Texas, flies over just to work out with us. You're going to see in this first clip knocking down the open jumper. You're going to see a lot of these during the course of the next eight minutes. Here's Alexia Standish. You know, you're going to continue to watch Standish in these next clips. Seemingly knock down almost everything she shoots. One of the things that we have been, been on her about, and, and at this point in her game, you know, the, the foundation is set, so to speak. We're just continuing to try to add little bits and pieces to get her ready for that, that next level. But you can see her follow through right now. Everything is two hands. Everything is right elbow above her eye, trying to make sure we get the basketball up and in flight. And when she does that, it's very, very rare that she misses. You're going to see the same thing here in this clip. Just getting the basketball up, elbow above her eye, feet are good. You know, one of the things we talk about with, with her, her right foot has a tendency to overstep at times and, and cause a little too much um, lack of body balance, especially when we start talk about trying to put the ball on the floor, going right or going left. So we want to make sure that, you know, her feet are in good position. You see her catch herself there and still knock it down. Uh, I mean, she shoots the ball as well as anybody in the country. I can't think of, of anybody, save maybe Kalina Lewis in that class, who gets it out quicker or more consistent than Standish does. Uh, Going to be a joy to watch her you know, next year. She had 35 in a high school game last week, was 4 for 4 from the three-point line, several mid-range jumpers to go along with that. This next clip, you're going to see her start to put the ball off the floor. You know, one of the things we have talked about with her, and you can actually see it there, Drag, I actually say something in the clip where we talk about getting the ball up, making that last bounce a hard bounce. You're going to see her really emphasize the bounce. Boom, get it up into her pocket so that she can get the basketball out quickly and still be able to knock it down. You know, we continue to talk about the arc of her shot, just getting the basketball up and in the sky. And when she does that, Getting on square, she does a really good job of getting her shoulders square. Even if her feet aren't, most of the time her shoulders are lined up with the rim, and she still is able to knock that shot down. You know, a lot of kids aren't able to do that, um, but that is something that she does really well. She can get her shoulders on line with the rim. The ball most of the time is going to go in the basket. You know, you see the same thing now on this side of the floor. We actually are teaching what we call a cross step. Um, Sean Stick Smith, one of, one of our skill developers, talks a lot about this, you know, during his time overseas, catching the ball in the air, as you can see her doing, then going left, right to your right side or right, left to your, your left side on the bounce. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll even talk about uh, a permanent pivot foot, your left foot down for a right-handed shooter stepping in with your right foot. So it's just a different way of teaching it. You can see her now going the opposite direction where she's getting that right to left step. Uh, one of the things I want to make sure we point out is Kyle and I actually were talking about this during Standish's workout is the fact that she's gained weight. You know, she's gotten stronger um, and it looks like she's grown, you know, another half inch to an inch uh, even since the springtime of last year. I mean, physically now she's starting to look the part and is going to do an even better job once she gets to College Station and gets on weights. But, uh, you know, the, the strength issue that we thought might exist a couple of years ago doesn't look like it's going to be a problem at all. You're going to see on this next clip start to shoot three. Um, you can see once again feet out underneath. They're stepping into her pass. She's saving herself about a half second there. She's doing a much better job of that than she did a couple of workouts ago is getting that right foot locked in almost immediately as the ball arrives. If you watch the pass, boom, pass is caught, and that right foot is right there to get the basketball out so that at the next level, you know, quicker guards, more athletic guards don't get back to her with their hand out and get a touch on the shot. She's able to get it in, get it out, and if they make the read, she can go by. You know, it's been neat to watch Stanis's progress, you know, from the time that, you know, I first saw her at Baylor uh, Elite Camp three summers ago, summer of actually 08 at this point. It's about two and a half years ago to, to now. You know, she was very, very talented. I mean, it was her, um, Alexis Jones. Mariah Jefferson, you know, those really were the three standout guards in that group. You know, all three are obviously going to end up being, you know, All-American candidates. Uh, McDonald's, WBCA, Jones, and Jefferson a year behind. But to see Standish consistently knock this jumper down is nice. You know, when you talk about the progression of a kid, you know, she's put herself now in a, a position, I think, to be mentioned. 
you know, with the, the Mass and Gills, with some of those other top guards, uh, Canty, who just committed to Rutgers last week, uh, you know, talking about the 11 class, she really has, has put herself in that company, both with the USA U16 um, national team experience last summer. But I think, too, just coming back off this ACL injury, you know, you can't tell. She's at a point now, like I said, she's been over three different times, worked out with, you know, Andrea Carter. Lexi Brown, you know, some of the best guards in the, the country. Uh, Brianna Banks, Sierra Burdick, and, and looks right in place with those kids. So we expect her to be able to go to the Big 12 next year and have a great career. Now we're going to get her off the move a little bit. You can see her going through our pound series. Quick pitch, touch, catch, and then a curl jumper right there at about eight feet. Really just wanted to work some two-ball stuff, just kind of get her rolling. Uh, I think, you know, one of the things that we actually did on the, the side later that's not on the video clip is some more two-ball stuff, crossovers behind your back, really just changing speed, changing direction, just continuing to try to overload her. You know, her skill set is, is so good and so advanced at this point. Wanted to continue to add more and more new things to her game so that she can continue to improve and be in a position hopefully next year that, you know, mentally should be able to come in and really impact games for, for Coach Gary Blair and his staff there in College Station. You know, you're going to see her going through the same stuff in terms of the two two uh, ball bouncing. Excuse me. This time she's going to catch, curl. Next time she's actually going to catch, be able to rip it through. When we talk about driving, hitting the rim, and doing some of those things, attacking off the bounce. Uh, we actually in the gap. We worked out with Standish twice on the Sunday. We actually went and watched, you know, Duke All Access with Coach K. Uh, Kyrie Irving, a nice young point guard freshman. I'm sure all of you will hear a lot about him. If you don't already know the name, you'll get a chance to see him play several times this year. And we just talked about her being able to impact the game, you know, kind of the way that he has. Or even Odyssey Sims at Baylor, another freshman. Um, Bria Hartley at UConn. Just being able to come in and, and mentally be prepared to be able to have immediate success at the next level. I think if there's a gap for most freshmen, it's not understanding what it's going to take mentally to continue to be successful. And hopefully Standish is going to walk in the door with that and be ready to go. Now, in this clip, you're going to see the rip-through. I actually was a clip early just a minute ago. See the same two-ball bounce, and she comes through, catches, rips, and then it's an immediate go. A lot of times, you know, we'll catch it and tell them to size up in terms of reading the defender in front of them. You know, in this particular case, we're actually having her catch it and just immediately go. The defender is run through the line, trying to make the steal, did not make the play. We're going to catch it and just take off and get to the rim. One more time. One more time. That's good stuff. Yaza, Yaza. All the way through. Oh. One up. Same thing on the other side. We're going to once again catch. Immediately rip through. There's no uh, no pause, no shot fake like we normally would. Once again, the defender jumped the line. They gambled trying to make the steal. Didn't make it. We caught it. The help defender doesn't get there on the post in time, so we go ahead and finish right there at the rim. Yeah. 